You're live. <laughs> Hi everyone, Lizzie and and Matt doing the videoing from uh, Bricks by Matt and Lizzie, and today we're going to show you a little bit of how we do our organization system for our Bricklink store. So we've seen lots of people using the like tall containers with the little drawers, but we found those to be a little bit pricey, so we ended up with these cheap little. Um, they're like three dollars from Walmart and they're the jewelry making kind of organizers so you can see they're divided and we do uh, alphabetized and then numbered labels and then we just have random I mean we just kind of <laughs> just randomly choose what goes where some of them are like the same kinds of pieces and some of them were just like yeah throw whatever in there whatever it fits so yeah so that's our main so right there, then we have... These, the letters are normally alphabetized, but they we kind get, of get mixed up as we pick orders. We, you can see we did AA. I used to be obsessed with trying to keep them alphabetized, and I've gotten kind of lazy now, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have our special minifig containers. So these are anything relating to minifigs in general. There's some weapons there. Hair pieces assembled many figs all that kind of stuff in our mini fig stack and then we were discovering with these containers that really small pieces just tended to get too deep and too hard to get to so we added these kinds of these are still those like plastic jewelry organizer things but it's just a little bit shallower of a bin in each of these so it works better for these little tiny type pieces so that's been nice and lots of little bitty this one's got tons of little bitty pieces in it, I think. <laughs> the little tiny friends stuff and these little things they're just really hard to get to when you're digging into these so we've been gradually kind of moving over stuff as as these bins like get too full or whatever we're like oh these are smaller pieces they can go in our z containers <laughs> and whenever we have an empty one we write it on the sticky up here so that we know like you know otherwise there's no way to know like oh there's a container in here somewhere that's empty you know we don't <laughs> want to just be like looking through for it so we have a little collection of uh, available locations for new bricks <laughs> and then finally we have really large or like just things where we have a ton of a particular kind of thing separated into these bins that are just in ziploc baggies so these chunks are just kind of huge so they work better down here oh and this one's fun we have we have some cool little duplo pieces <laughs> uh, so, Very nice. Oh, and this <clears throat> is our instruction collection. We have sort. <laughs> we kind of sorted them like this is the Star Wars area, you know, the Minecraft, Ninjago, Bionicle, superheroes, that kind of stuff. So. And then when we're packing them up, we just have all these kinds of envelopes and the little tiny Ziploc baggies and all that kind of stuff. Which those are from Walmart too. You yeah. can get the Ziplocs at Walmart or on Amazon. Yeah. There's, the, again, little jewelry bags. Yep. And we keep our tape and scissors and packing supplies in there. Mm -hmm. As well as a little scale so we can weigh packages. And we do all the cataloging on the computer there that's put up right now. That's a MacBook Pro that we uh, use for picking orders and also uh, parting out sets. Right? Mm -hmm. And actually creating shipping labels. Yep. Oh, we should show the closet too. Oh yeah, because we have our we have our full boxed sets and stuff in here. All up the top. We actually don't have that many right now, do we? Yeah, a lot of them sold, and some of them we've parted out. Like we're thinking of parting out those Ninjago sets, right? Yeah. Because nobody seems interested in buying them. 
Well, there was that one guy, but then we couldn't find. It's such a weirdly shaped and sized box yeah. that we couldn't actually find a box that worked really well to ship it in. Sadly. Unfortunately. So maybe we'll part those out and yeah. at some point. And we have like boxes in there too, ship for shipping, mm -hmm. and some sets that we're trying to complete. Yeah. That we bought at like garage sales and stuff. So. Okay, yep. cool. All right. So, place an order in our Brinkling store. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.